I want to talk to you today about the importance of tackling ill health in the workplace and why it is such a vital issue to businesses, to workers, to the economy and to this government. Last year, work-related illness affected 1.3 million British workers and resulted in 25.7 million working days being lost. These statistics are truly staggering. As Minister of State for Disabled People Health and Work, I believe we must take urgent action so that everyone who can work has the chance to do so and do so healthily. The impact of workplace ill health reaches far beyond the immediate effects we see in working days lost. Workplace ill health places demands on our public services, on the NHS, on the welfare and benefit system when people are no longer able to work and on levels of unemployment across Great Britain. Ultimately though, it affects people, their colleagues, friends and families, not just today, but often for the rest of their lives. Preventing workplace ill health is a key priority for this government and for the health and safety executive. The government recently set out our strategy for achieving this over the next 10 years in improving lives, the future of work, health and disability. HSE is leading the way through their health and work programme and the Go Home Healthy initiative. Over the next few years, HSC will concentrate on tackling three priority health issues, occupational lung disease, injuries and pain caused by backs, joints and limbs, and work-related stress. The Go Home Healthy campaign provides employers and workers with the tools and resources they need to prevent work-related ill health now and in the future. I'm asking workers and employers across Great Britain to use these tools, to engage with the campaign and to do the right thing so that all workers can go home healthy.